But now you have also violated the rights that your father has over you. Another example, the ulama, the scholars of al-Islam. The scholars of al-Islam have rights over us. Right? And so when we backbite the ulama, then again we're violating Allah's rule, and then now we're violating the rights that the ulama have over us. The ulatul umur, those who have been given charge over the Muslims. Right? And I'm not talking about just presidents and, 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 and kings, I'm talking about even people in our masajid. Right? Anyone who has been given a charge over the affairs of the Muslims, they're, they're called the wali al amr So if I'm in charge of the fans, right, let's say I'm the secretary, I'm the MCMC fan secretary, right? And my job is to make sure the fans are clean, the buttons you know, stay fresh, and that they get turned on and get turned off. So now I'm in charge. In charge of what? I'm the fan guy. Right? So I have a charge over the Muslims. I'm in charge of the fans. That gives me rights over the Muslims. Limited rights. Very, very limited rights. But still, I have a charge. I'm responsible. And therefore, I do have rights because I'm in charge of the fans. And so back by me, the one who's in charge of the fans, it raises the stakes, it raises the severity of the backbiting. Backbiting is haram in general, but then when you have individuals who have status and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given rights to, then it increases the severity of the level of that sin. And so my advice to myself and my advice to all of us this morning is that we all have to, we have to avoid backbiting. And listening to backbiting is just like us partaking in the backbiting. And so we have to warn one another. Because our, our, our majalis, our gatherings, they get juicy. We like the juicy gatherings, the ones where we're spreading enough gossip. So we have to come to the gatherings and when we start to hear this, we have to tell our brothers and our sisters, fear Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited the backbiting. So ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. Ask Allah Ta'ala to accept from us our good deeds and our righteous actions. May He overlook our faults and forgive us of our sins.